one of the most useful features on Family Historian is the ability to be able to add people directly onto a tree. You can use this in combination with the auto source citation to track information that you're recording when talking to somebody about their tree. So let's for instance decide that we're going to have a conversation with Alice Daniels. So what I can do is I can come up and say I'm going to add a new source and at that point I could go in, I could put a bit of more information in but for now just for this demonstration I'm not going to. If I was recording a conversation with Alice on a um, recorder I could then come back and add that to the source later on but for now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come to the tools menu find automatic source citation and I'm going to start this off and put in today's date because we're going to be running it today so let's say we're on the 1st of January 2015 and we can set in where within source if we want to we could do an assessment so with anything that is a, a verbal you might say well that's secondary evidence but or you might say it's unreliable that's really going to depend a lot on how confident you are with your source person remembering to tick the two boxes at the bottom set automatic what a citation is now enabled and we can come back to our chart so what I can do now is I can pick Alice on the chart and build a chart based on her what we find is that there are now no family for Alice. So what I can do is I can simply click on the Alice box, drag up and add her father. So she might say he was James Daniels and he was born on the 31st of January 1917. And he was born, so once I've added him, I can go ahead, I can add his spouse. So like she might be Mary Jones was born. And what you can see down here is because Autosource is turned on, the information is being added all the time with the source information to it. So I could go on now and if she gives me parents, I can drag up and add parents. If she says, oh, I've got a brother, I can drag down from, his, from her parents, add a son. So that might be Jack Daniels, June 19. 42 and Alice might say oh you haven't got my birth date in that's the 1st of July 1943 so you can see you can work forward adding information the only limitation really is that you can't drag to add somebody that wouldn't normally be shared or shown on that diagram so if I went back to my original diagram and picked on Alice, I can't drag up from her or sideways from her because this diagram is not centred on somebody that means that her relations would normally show on that diagram. So the easiest way always is to find the person you want to add information to and create a diagram centred on them. So the normal way to do that is just to collect the person and then click the all relatives diagram. I hope that gives you a good start on what Family Historian can do.